Hello Capricorn and welcome to One Side You Tarot. My name is Robin and today Cappies we're going to do your monthly reading for July 2022. We're going to find out what's coming towards you first in career and finances and second in love and well in love. <laughs> so we'll do two separate readings. They will both be linked in the description box comment section below. Let's start off with career and finances. What's going on with Cappy and their money? Talk to us. What do they need to know? What's coming towards us? So to be fair, card number 38, happy happy 26. And not for you. Card number six. Interesting. Okay. Let's see what this is all about. It looks like um, it looks like you're leaving something behind and that makes you happy. So it looks like you might be going in a different direction here towards something new. Um, let's just see what's going on here, Cap. Talk to us. Show us what's going on with Capricorn career and finances with their money, their business, their job. What do you need to know? Talk to us. All right. So we have nine of wands in reverse. We have the tower in reverse. We have the four of pentacles. My sage is in the way. Hold on. Let's move the cards. Two of wands. We have temperance. We have the page of cups or the princess of cups. I hope those are all on camera and you can see them. Sometimes this camera just gets randomly blurry. I don't know why. I'm still trying to figure that out. I'll probably just get a new one because I can't. <laughs> so the moon in reverse. And two of pentacles and on the bottom of the deck cap we have the queen of swords in reverse interesting what goes with that the knight of swords in reverse the ten of swords so you're an old cycle is coming to an end ten of swords with the queen and the kit and the queen and the knight both in reverse so something's coming to an end here obviously we see this and we have something new coming but the thing is sag or sorry cap the thing is cap I said Sag because the card of Sag is here. I was looking at Temperance. I don't know why I do that. I see the cards as the sign sometimes, not necessarily like <laughs> the card. I don't know. This is how my brain operates. But you're being resistant to this change. So let's find out why. Uh, maybe you need to be fair. You need to be honest. You need to really do some self-reflecting here. With the Nine of Wands and the Tower in reverse, it's like you don't want this change. You're resisting it. Why? You're holding like the Four of Pentacles. You're holding on to something here. Talk to us. What is this? Why? Two of Pentacles. Oh, it's a lot of work. It might be a lot of work. So it's like, I feel for some of you, well, the Knight of Pentacles, it's going to be a lot of work to make this change. So let's say, you know, you worked at this company for 20 years and you're the CEO and now you got to go out and start at a new company. You're not going to be the CEO there. You might only be a district manager. So it's going to take work to build it up. If you're, if you're quitting your job to start your own business, it's going to take a lot of work. Whatever this change is that the universe is bringing to you, you are being very resistant to it um, because it's going to be a lot of work here, Cap. But it'll make you happy. <laughs> Sometimes the hardest thing is what's best for us. So despite the exhaustion, despite the fears, despite um, you, despite the, the effort it's going to take you, um, the cards really want you to start this new cycle. You do too. Your intuition's guiding you. That's what I'm hearing. Um, but it's just going to take a lot of work. So you're being a little resistant to it because you know it's going to be hard. It's not going to be easy. Um, what was that? The Nine of Wands in reverse. Ha Look at that. That card just popped out. And just the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Wands with the Star in reverse. So, and the Fool. You also have it. But look. So like, ah. Look how this has presented itself. It's like you need to walk away from those doubts and those fears because, because it's all they are. Um... With the fool, you're worried. You're worried it's not going to go your way. You're worried, obviously, right? If you're starting something new, it's the fear of the unknown. You don't really know how it's going to go, and you're holding on to those doubts, those fears, those anxieties, that panic. That that there's a knight of pentacles. Just take things slow, one day at a time. Nothing happens overnight, right? That's what I'm hearing. But you're holding on, Cap. So it's going to be a lot of work. It's going to take a lot of effort. Maybe it's starting over in a new town. You got to move or whatever that is for you. But um, you're starting over. Um, so you're basically and all honestly i think you're like you're putting whatever you like let's say you worked at this company for 10 years it's gone like all that work is now done for someone else like it's just being left behind but that's okay um you just got to remove your attachment to that and know that the where where you're going is going to be much better which takes patience um it takes balance it takes time um and effort and i know it's gonna be a lot of effort that's why you're resistant i know i'm just repeating myself what is this page of cups in reverse what do you want to say about that Lisa want and the star. Yeah, just yeah <laughs> it's just it's yeah so things are just take things slowly take them one day at a time I'm getting the same damn thing I'm, every time i see this knight of pentacles in this reading for some reason that's what i hear in my head so it's like take it one day at a time 
Um, you're definitely worried. I feel like you might have a creative block. You know when we get really anxious? Like if you're a writer, you know you have writer's block. You just get really anxious and all of a sudden like you're just blocked. You can't think about what it is you want to do because your mind's jumbled or you're scrambled or whatever that is for you. That's how my brain works. And I'm Kathy Venus, but whatever works, however you work, I feel like you're you're blocking yourself on a creative level. Um, and the cards just really want you to have patience with yourself. Don't be too hard on yourself here. I'm getting a really strange deja vu. I actually, I'm going to go watch the Capricorn July 2021. I'm, I'm really strange. I'm getting a really strange deja vu from that. It's so strange. Um, I can't even explain that, but I'm going to go watch that because there's, <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so with the moon in reverse here, um, it's like, be honest with yourself. Have, be don't let those doubts control you make the choice and also oh the other thing i'm seeing here too is create that work-life balance yeah the knight of wands because you're happy so you probably work really hard that wanted to come out not that one it was the four pentacles four pentacles ace of wands in reverse and the knight of wands so it's like um the moon in reverse is all about revealing and being open and honest with yourself you know this is what you need to do be honest about how much work it's going to do maybe create a plan um but you're holding on to that 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 stress or that anxiety and those fears are blocking you on a creative level or blocking you um from moving forward which i get this feeling like you desperately want to move forward but you're afraid of how much work and effort it's going to be right it's going to just it's it's going to be a lot of work here cat i feel like for some of you i do feel like you're physically moving and some of you i feel like you're starting your own business or you're starting a new job or you're leaving one behind right you're just um but there's a strong message here to create that work-life balance. Jo don't work too hard because especially if it's going to be a lot of work, um, you know, your copies are workhorses, right? You could work like 12 hour days and, and just be like, yeah, okay, <laughs> but you'll work yourself to exhaustion. So create that balance, be honest about what it's going to take and create a plan, create a strategy. But this is what you're supposed to be doing. So I know you're being a little resistant and I know it's going to be a lot of work. Um, I just keep saying the same thing because I feel like that's what they want me to say, but the old cycle's gone, Cap. It's, it's time. Like, the universe is, like, making you. <laughs> they're, like, they're fucking forcing you. You got no choice. It is time. This is where you got to go. Uh, the sun in reverse. See, I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> because it's all about self-reflection. Be honest. Be realistic. Look at yourself um, and just know what the... Create an, a realistic plan, right? And you know what it's going to take, so you just got to do it. Um, no more fighting with yourself, no more conflicting, no more thinking about it, no more going back and forth. The cards are saying now is the time, July is the time to make it happen. Just set your head down, go forward, um, and understand and know what to expect, right? Um, create realistic expectation. I just took a card away. Oh, sorry. It's over here. <laughs> the two. And now I brought, make the choice. See, fucking A. I, now it's upside down. Um, so make that choice. It's time to make that choice because I feel like you are a little bit out of balance here in the month of July. Um, maybe you're not working hard enough or maybe you're working too hard, but there's a little bit of imbalance and it has a lot to do with um, your fears of how much work this is going to do. I actually kind of relate to this reading a little bit <laughs> because I'm moving. <laughs> so I, um, you know, I tend to... I'll get stressed out because I'll do too much and I'll overwhelm myself. So if you're like that, there's just a message not to do that. Keep going um, and just create a plan and, and pace yourself, right? <laughs> Be realistic about what you can do, about how much you can do, about what's coming. Um, so what does Cappy have to surrender to? Non-action. So now's the time to be still and not act. Breathe and focus on your own power and let others come to you. So I feel like, remember, I wasn't sure if you were working too hard or not working hard enough. I feel like that answered that for some of you <laughs> and what's your energy oracle message what do you want to say to capricorn talk to us door to value in reverse woman holding a coin i can't see that one holy we have a little oracle message so let's get there's a lot of people here so we have a woman holding a coin well actually it came out this way so we have door to value in reverse we have a woman holding a coin we have caring connections we have a man holding a heart in reverse we have hostilities um this move that you're making like whether you're moving like i'm moving or whether you're changing jobs whatever it is that you're going through whatever change in your life in the month of july number one don't forget your value and your worth don't forget to to don't overdo it so you exhaust yourself that's this is the real message that you might work too hard cap um so just create the plan stick to it be realistic um 
like the thinking man, be realistic. I feel as though this is a message that there is um, a friend or a family, or it could be your angels, because this black cat represents divine guidance that's guiding you. They're watching you. Look at these fours again. Saji was getting fours too. Four, 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 four. So maybe look up angel number four, four, four. Fours are all about foundation, security, reliability, being responsible, hardworking, building that foundation. So I feel as though, for some of you, I feel like this is a person or a partnership, but a lot of you, I feel like it's your angels, your spirit guides, the you know, the angelic realm guiding you here. This is, um, this is something you're resisting. <laughs> so, um, with the hostilities and the man holding a heart in reverse, your heart is resisting this. So your head and your heart are not on board. I feel like with this change. Um, and that's also part of your resistance. Like your head, see how the heart's upside down, but the head's upside right. Right. Also notice that's 45, 46. So, um, your heart and your head aren't on the same page, which it, might also be part of your resistance here um but it's time to get that shit together <laughs> just create a plan cap because you know this is what you want to do i feel like you know it it's just gonna be a lot of work and i feel like you're stressed um but this new cycle is upon you and um it's time to it's time to cut out those fears and those doubts and just just do it you know like nike says just do it um all right Let's see what other messages they want to give to you before we get your potential outcome. When I say potential outcome, we'll see where this is in August. How are you doing it? Are you doing it? Are you still stressed out? Are you still resisting it? Have you started your new job, your new career? Are you moving? Or whatever that is for you. What's going on? What final other, anything else you want to say to Kat? They don't really want to come out, but they're like trying to come out. Judgment in reverse. Oh. Right? I know people will find it annoying when I laugh. I apologize. But it's just because it's the same message. So it's like such a powerful message coming out again. Judgment in reverse is about being realistic with yourself, having realistic expectations, evaluating yourself, the choices that you're making. Um, it's the same thing. So be realistic. Yes, it's going to be a lot of work. But if you could create a plan, you're a cappy. Just make it happen. Just create a realistic timeline, create realistic way of going about it. Don't try to rush something that's going to take, you know, three months into a month and you know, fucking stress yourself out, create a tower moment, because I just saw the tower, I think it's on the, there, I, I did see it, there it is, let's just, because, you know, you'll create that tower moment, right, build those foundations, the fours are about foundations, so take the time, take it day by day, okay, so let's see where you are in August, let's see if this reading helped you take it day by day, <laughs> I'm just playing, all right, where's Capricorn in August with this, this is your potential outcome, because there's always free will, you're going to make the choices you make, and again, outcome, but it's, this is August, where are you? So two of swords in reverse and the four of pentacles, okay? Justice in reverse. Ah. Judgment. Ten of swords in reverse. Patience is a virtue. There's Sagittarius and the moon in reverse. So, again, being... Um, I feel like you've released the blockage. So that's the good thing. With the four of pentacles um, and the the two of swords in reverse you have released your blockage so i feel like you've you know you're set you've set your plan and you're working towards it things still aren't going um 100 in your favor you're not justice is in reverse so it's like it's not fully balanced you're still creating that balance maybe within this job within if you're moving whatever that is within your life you're still creating that work life move life whatever it is for you cap um but i feel like your patience is paying off the ten of swords in reverse is, means that you're those obstacles are starting to lift, you know, instead of like feeling like rocks, now you're feeling like a feather. <laughs> Things are starting to swing in your direction. Judgment is all about victory. It's all about success. It's all about your soul path, your lessons, making life changing choices and decisions, but that benefit you. See how their arms are out? This is the horn of success. They're like, ah, right? Because you're starting to see things. It's not 100% there. Like, let's say, you know, I'm not going to put any limits, but whatever it is that you're working on, like I said, you're starting to see things. You're starting to feel like a feather as opposed to a stone. I don't know how else to say that, but like your light is a feather. You're starting to see it. The moon in reverse, it means you're cut, you're cutting out those doubts, those fears, those insecurities, and you're just moving forward knowing what needs to be done. You know what needs to be done and you're just going to fucking do it. Um, so in, in August, you do start to see things progress and move forward you've made your choice you've removed your blockages and you're moving in the right direction so i think it's a beautiful thing cat um i don't see a lot of pentacles here i just see the four pentacles so if it's for your finances that would be a sign to save don't be going on you know spending sprees to jamaica or the bahamas or anything <laughs> especially if this is like a move or a career change um 
but you'll start to see forward movement, which is nice. So let's get your final message here, Kat. See what they want to say. And then we'll move on to your love reading. See what's going on in love. Keep good company. Read good books. Love good things. And cultivate soul and body as faithfully as you can. This is the first time I've seen this card. Take 10 minutes out of your day to read. <laughs> Beautiful message. I actually am a, an avid reader. I hope you are too. Um, I really like Florence Coppolshin. <laughs> I read a lot of her stuff over and over and over. Um, okay, let's move on here to your love and, well, just your love. Let's see what's going on. Love in the month of July cap. So hold on a sec. Let me reset here. And I just saw the door to romance while I did that. So I just want to, I just want to point that out. <laughs> could mean something, could mean that. But if I saw it, it means something to me. All right. All right, Capricorn in love. Let's see what's coming towards you in love and romance in the next, well, in the month of July. What can you expect? What's coming your way? What do you need to know? Talk to us. What does Capricorn need to know about July 2022? What's coming towards them? Well, I should have said you because then it would rhyme. Okay, codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. An unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. I'm trying to take the bottom. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. I got a feeling that there's more than one person here cap uh let's see what's going on here so what's going on with capricorn um because we have unrequited love we have soulmate and then we have codependency this is really interesting these are some interesting energies so some of you um i mean addictions could be anything that could be work it could be cigarette it could be food it could be drugs it could be rock and roll it could be anything but whatever vice it is that you're doing too much <laughs> it's just a sign <laughs> to do it less um What's going towards Cap in love in July 2022? They need to know what's coming in their direction. I think there's two people here. So give us some clarity as to what this is. Talk to us. What's Cap need to know? So judgment. Page of Pentacles. What am I saying? Six of Pentacles in reverse. Seven of Cups. There's your options. In love. <laughs> know why i do that i'm so sorry uh what else we have here so we have the two of cups in reverse yeah because you don't know who to choose what else we got what else we got strength Ooh. strength in a love reading Ooh, and the tower in reverse but strength in a love reading is all about lust intense chemistry passion the hierophant in reverse and on the bottom of the deck the nine of pentacles in reverse very interesting energy here cap so the nine of pentacles with the three of pentacles in reverse and the hanged man the ten of swords so i mean someone doesn't want you to be single anymore there's definitely a love triangle here um three of pentacles is in reverse so like when the threes are in reverse like three of pentacles three of cups it represents a love triangle <laughs> um so there's definitely two people one of the people you're not attracted to and one of them is your soulmate here so you got two people two energies let's see what we're starting off with we have judgments in reverse what do you want to say about that why are we starting july off like that for cat what do you want to say talk to us please The high priestess, the world's in reverse and death. Um, so we got Scorpio energy. We got three, we got four major arcana starting off July here. Um, God, that's like major, major energy. Major arcana is about major life changes. That's a lot of majors in one fucking sentence, but it's like colossal. <laughs> Let's pull out the fucking thesaurus here. So death, high priestess, and the world in reverse is clarifying the judgment in reverse. So I feel as though my first instinct was that there was a Pisces coming towards you <laughs> who has unfinished business. But either way, somebody's coming towards you to transform this, something that something ended with. So this person that you have history with could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, could be a water sign. It definitely could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but they have unfinished business. They want to say something. They want to talk to you. Judgment. I feel like this person has been reflecting. So they've been thinking about things. They've been looking at you. They've been looking at themselves. Maybe they're the ones that have an addiction and that's why things ended in the past, right? Take that how it resonates with you. But this person doesn't want you to be single anymore. They got unfinished business. They want to give the six of pentacles in reverse. Oh, they want to heal things with you. You are the star. Damn. Like, oh shit. Look at that. Look at that cap. There's competition. They're going to fight for you. Whether they, they know that there's other people that are wanting your attention. I mean, of course, if they're going to be coming like that to you, and naturally other people are going to be looking at you too they're going to be looking at you up and down when you walk in the room baby but 
So we have the five of wands, the fool, the star. This person is going to fight for you, beginning with you, because you're the star. They want partnership with you. This is like beauty, um, authentic. They could they could feel that you're different from the others in the sense that you're authentic, you're real. You don't put on that false mask, that false, that false, can't even talk. <laughs> you're just real. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. You're not fake. You don't, you know, you're just real. So that's one person coming through. So they've come out right off the bat. They're a person from the past. They're not happy that you're not giving to this. So who is the other person? Because we have the Seven of Cups and the Knight of Cups. They could both, there could be another water sign here, but I feel like this is just, this person's really romancing. Like this person's going to be like fighting for your love. I feel like they're going to be really passionate and this person's going to be like really romantic, like totally different. Yeah. Look at two threes again. So the Three of Cups, the Three of Wands, and the Two of Hearts. <laughs> two of Cups in reverse because there's... There's three people. <laughs> so the couple's a little bit disharmony here because you have a decision to make. Who you gotta turn your back on one of these people. So I feel like they could this this could be a water sign again. Uh Cancer Scorpio Pisces. You could be dealing with two water signs, but this is just someone who's gonna be wooing you, courting you, romancing you, trying to win your love um through affection, whereas they're gonna try and win your love through passion and and fire and um just passion so you have like a really sweet person over here you have a really passionate kind of fiery angry person over here um and they both want to date you they've both been watching you they've both been looking they're both waiting for you cappy so threes you might be seeing threes um threes are all about curiosity communication having fun but threes are also about good luck so you're having a good month in love here you got some damn good options but um one of them Obviously, you're going to reject. It's not going to be, it's going to be unrequited, as we see. So there's the two of cups in disharmony again. Who are you going to choose? What are you going to do? The strength here is going to take you courage. It's going to take you, um, what do you want to say about that? Because there's a tower in reverse and the hierophant in reverse. So, like, it's going to, um, <laughs> how are you going to decide, Cap? <laughs> the six of cups in reverse. Interesting. The fool. Ooh. Okay, well. The knight of cups. Damn. So... All right, take this, look at all these people. Take this as it resonates, but what I see here is the tarot, the spirit gods, the tarot universe are wanting you to put the past behind you and take a leap of faith with this past person. So I feel like this person here, this Knight of Cups, a sweet romantic person, maybe they're too sweet, maybe they're giving you a fucking cavity, I don't know, but they're upside down here, um, and the fool is putting the past behind you. So just take that how it resonates, but there's a little encouragement here that, oh, that this person is your soulmate. <laughs> as I'm talking about them, that this person, um, they want success with you or they consider you their soulmate. Take that how it is. The set, they, they do not want to miss out on you, Capricorn. Okay, like I said, they want they don't want you to be single anymore. So you got a very aggressive, hot and heavy, this process, this most likely is the the, the, the the lust, the intense intensity and this person's really sweet. Um, so what do you do? I The cards are telling you where to lean. So we have the tower in reverse and the hierophant in reverse. You are resisting making this decision. I feel like it's tough. I feel like they're both good options. I feel like they both really like you. Yeah, the death and rebirth. Who are you going to end it with? Ah, who are you going to stop? You don't know. You're resisting making this decision because I don't think you know how to make this decision. Um, I mean, it's a really good problem to have. Let's be real. <laughs> Seven of swords. You got to be, um, you're going to have to make a choice. You're going to have to turn your back and take control of this and turn your back and make an offer to one of them, Cap. So let's get a few Oracle messages, see if that can help you make this choice. Um, I know where the cards of tarot is leaning towards there, but don't let that influence your decision because I hate that because I, I always, that's my biggest issue with, with tarot. Like you see some of these, I don't know, it can get into your subconscious and if it's not relevant for you, it can make you think about things that you don't want to think about, right? So um, don't let the tarot influence your decision. <laughs> But just be aware because you could be the person that's down here like it might be someone else that's the past right it's going to be different but i'm just saying that's what the tarot is saying so let's get your surrender card you make your choices based on what your intuition and your heart are guiding you to do but you definitely have a choice here so what do you have to surrender to like i really just like what i was going to say is the tarot the tarot readers are talking about like black magic like you know you go on there and it's like oh someone's doing spells on you someone's doing magic it's like shit someone doing magic on me i don't like that because it gets in your subconscious <laughs> You'll never hear me say that in my tarot reading. I don't like that. So surrender defensiveness. Defensiveness is a sign of weakness. To communicate in a more empowered way, stay centered and hear someone out. Then offer a clear, non-defensive response. All right. And your energy oracle message here, Cap. What message do you want to say to Capricorn? What will help them as they um, make this choice? Because you have two good choices in love here. You have two good options, Cap. And I feel like they both are sincere. I don't see like manipulation on either end 
action. <laughs> Let's get your message. When one comes out of the book, Ah, I see, I was screwed up every time. What the fuck? When one comes out of the deck, the message is in the book, so let's get it. One moment. Okay. This card tells you times. <laughs> now is the time for aggressive movement. The horses represent intentions and your goals. So this indicates you're on the right track, but you must determined effort. Your, excuse me, your determined efforts must increase. So the white horse is the spirit of thought, and the black horse is the outer work, so the material realm. So continue taking action, trust your intuition. In time, you're going to break through and see what you've been working hard to create. Interesting. I feel like that was like no advice to you at all towards how to help you. So I apologize. But that's what they want to say. You have to take action in July. Um, <laughs> okay. So let's talk about person number one. What are they not saying to Capricorn? If they could say, what are they hiding that they don't want to say? Or what are they, what, just what do they want to say? Let's just see. I look for you everywhere. So they're trying to run into you. And this other person, what do they want to say? I don't react when people mention you. I want to be more than friends. Okay. And the Karen Connection card, person number one. <laughs> I feel like I'm, uh, I don't know what I feel like. I feel like I'm making some kind of list here. Person number one, tested. Your strengths and weaknesses are being tested. And option number two. What do you want to say? Spiritual. Oh, there's two here. Oh, there's three. So your spirit journey is being tested. Your Oh, that's not weird that I saw tested, but the word is fucking beginning. So for some of you, you're just being tested. I don't know. That's weird that I saw that. But your spiritual journey is beginning. The union of divine soul counterparts is a miraculous event that begins when you least expect it and embrace. So embrace what destiny has in store. See what I'm saying? For some, this is the, this is, for some of you, it's going to be this, not some of you, it's going to be that. That's why I, I had to say that, I feel, because, um, well, you know what I said before. I didn't really like that I said that, but I said it, so I said it. It is what it is, but I'm saying <laughs> Some of you, this is your soulmate. Some of you, this is. Um, it's going to be different. So take the how, you know, trust your intuition there, cat. But you have two really good options here, and you're going to hurt somebody, you heartbreaker. Let's see if there's anything else they want to say before we get your potential out. Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> and the Empress in reverse. You have to, you have to decide. Uh, one of these is your long term. One of them is your soulmate. Like, it's for real. This is who you're going to spend your life with. This is your life partner. This is who you're going to build a life with. Generational wealth, even, potentially. You could be a very match. You could, you guys could be a match business-wise as well. But, like, finances, you're both well off. Um, but it, you have to make this choice. You have to decide. And, yes, it's... Oh, I mean, yeah. Look at, the, look at the stability here. So, one of these people is just... A, yeah, you got it. But they both... But you're curious about them both, and that's the problem. I think I think you like them both. All right, let's get your potential outcome, Cappy. So let's see where you are in August. So I say potential outcome, but like I just said, <laughs> let's see where you are in August. The potential is free will because you're gonna make the choice you're gonna make. Um, so where's Capricorn in August? Talk to us. How are they feeling? Have they made a choice? Are two these two people still here? What is going down? Seven of Swords in reverse. This one wants to come out. Oh, yeah. Okay. Four pentacles in reverse. I can't see that one. Okay. The moon is a divine feminine. The five of wands in reverse. Decisions have been made. <laughs> oh, Cap, look at this. Oh, my God. This is gorgeous. So, um, and it's funny because they didn't tell me which one you decided and chose because it's different for all of you. But you're going to be really fucking happy. The King of Pentacles again. So some of you, it's the Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. For some of you, that's just you, and that's just stability. You've let go of um, the options. So you've released one of these people. You have. One of them is gone. You trusted your intuition. You listened to your intuition. You let it guide you. You trusted your heart. I feel like um, your heart is where you went through. There's no competition. There's no decision. You've made the choice, and you're fucking happy. Look at this. Look at the stability here. Hermit, take action. Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups. The King of Pentacles. It is your dream come true. This is your soulmate, your life partner. This is who you build your life with. And this is who you spend the rest of your life with. This is your partner. Um, there's no doubting it. They feel it. You feel it too. So some of you, it'll be option two. Some people will be option number one. Um, but whatever option it is, damn cap, you make the right choice. And you're really fucking happy. <laughs> So, you get your treasure at the end of the rainbow in the month of August, and you're in a committed relationship with your soulmate. So, this is actually a really beautiful reading. I hope this is mine. <laughs> I guess we'll be checking back in in August. We'll find out. So, let's get your final message to close this off. Cap. 
What's the final message for Cap? So Cap, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you like it, please don't hesitate to like, comment, subscribe. It helps others get the reading. It helps my channel to grow as well. I always appreciate it. Reflection. So people who love themselves don't hurt other people. The more we hate ourselves, the more we want to suffer. Huh. Reflect on a time that someone hurt you. What inside you was out of balance during this time? And have you been able to rebalance those parts? So those are your messages. I hope you have a great month.